Good afternoon, everyone. Wild weather in Australia. Chickpea producers lost entire crops, hail and frost. Wet autumn delays Minnesota harvest. Wheat is in up price, but look what's happening out in December 2015 and 20. Genetically modified salmon, genetically modified potatoes. Now new strains of rice that will triple the yield to 4.5 metric tons. Let's take a look at something beautiful from nature. Huge meteor fireballs seen across Europe. And while you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to Adapt 2030 and click that bell so you can get the latest updates. Wild weather smashing farmers' hopes of a good crop. Down in Australia, chickpea producers reporting huge losses. Why? Hail and frost. A fraction of what was gained last year. And then exceptionally cold this springtime. And they've had unusual snows as well. Guess it's too much global warming. And as I was looking for crop loss stories, I came across wet autumn delays in Minnesota harvest. Looked into this one here, talking about wet autumn delaying soybean crops compared to the five-year average. And what's interesting in the article at the very bottom, they talk about cycles. They talk about we know we've seen these things in the past, and they're trying to gauge what's coming back. They're saying, was it actually just a bad year, or is the cycle repeating again? The farmers know what's going on, and they said it in a covert way in this article. Also talking about wet, when I looked for wet crop losses, this article pops up here. Tar spot fungus in New England because of extremely wet summer. And then coming to today, wheat exports by class just out from today, USDA, down a bit from the trend from 2011 off the highs. As I've been talking about, we're going to start to chip into the amount of wheat available for consumption globally, and next year will be less than this year. And when we get around 2019 and 20, we're going to have such price spikes that it's going to affect society. Down 25 million bushels for the ending stocks. Thought it was supposed to be a record year. You see how the USDA always puts out rosy forecasts. Going to be a record harvest, record harvest. And then they're down 25 million bushels. Wait, that was probably from the late season blizzard. And they'll never admit they made a mistake in the preseason forecast. Anyway, looking at the one-year chart here on ordinary protein wheat, $177. But if you'd had a futures contract in at $150, you see the price rise all the way to 204. Taking a look at the CME prices, interesting. The December 18 delivery, 505, that's almost $100 increase from today's price, but let's go out into March 2020. They keep seeing prices rise too. They're not looking at any pullback in record production that's gonna drop prices. So here's some of the solutions that they're coming to for food production, genetically modified salmon. Canada offers the first GMO salmon to the world. Nice. And then the FDA approves three types of genetically modified potatoes. So I guess you can have genetically modified salmon with genetically modified potatoes with then genetically modified corn and genetically modified milk, all in one single yummy, nutritious meal. Speaking of which, agricultural breakthrough must give it up to the Chinese scientists who are now growing high yield rice in salt water. This is a game changer for sure. They're able to irrigate fields with salt water now to grow rice. But I don't know what the long term effect would be because you know when you put salt into the soil, nothing else can grow after that. We're even talking millennia. Phoenician wars when they salted the fields, those fields today, 2,000 years later, are still not usable because of the salt content in them. But here we go. Nearly tripling the yields on this saltwater-based land variety to 4.5 metric tons per hectare, making it ready for commercialization. This will be great for the coastal areas, but I'm really just wondering the long-term effects if they rush into this and then salt the entire land. And I'd like to leave you with a picture of the day. This is off SOT.net. Huge meteor ball seen across Europe Beautiful image here, nice skies, snow on the ground already, and the meteor in the background. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Look for prices going up from this point forward. Welcome to the Grand Solar Minimum.